Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start uh, putting this alternator back together. And what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm gonna test the stator real quick. I have my meter set on ohms. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from ground to ground. So our grounds are good. And I'm gonna go from ground to battery. So that's good. Ground to stator. And that's good. And I'm gonna put the positive on ground. Battery terminal jumped just a little bit. And that's good. And that one's good. So basically you should have continuity one way and not the other. And that's what we had. So this stator is good. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start getting these brushes put back in their holder. Now, the brush holder has got this little square notch on here. That's for this screw that's got the square head to fit in it just like that. So, these springs go in. Make sure you have a little something to hold the brushes back once you get them put in. And then what we're going to do is you have little slots right here, okay? Little wire going to the brushes needs to go in that slot so you push the brush in just like that and you take your little wire okay just like that you want to be careful too then take your other brush press that one in okay that one in the wrong way. Oops. All right, I'm going to mess with this off camera here real quick, and then I'll show you once I get it put back together. All right, so after fighting with this numerous times, not really, but you get to this point. So we have the brushes held in, we have that screw in there, we have the insulation piece, we got our little ground right here. So the trick to getting everything into the alternator is with everything together on your brush holder, you're going to want to hold the alternator up like this, line up your holes, take your time, and there you go. So you got your brush holder set in place. So all you need to do now is go ahead, put your screws in.
and tighten them down. Okay, now on the back, you'll see you got that wire sticking out. Now, show you when that gets pulled out. You don't pull that out just yet. So, I go ahead, put this little insulation piece back on. With our screw. It's a different size. So, what you want to do next is you want to go ahead and put your two halves back together. Now, since this rotor here looks pretty good, you can clean this up with some fine sandpaper if you wanted to, but I'm not going to bother with that. So, line up your bolt holes. Just like that. those all nice and tight Let's 
so. Take this little ring. Slide that back on the shaft. Take your pulley. This side goes towards the back. And that goes towards the front. Slide that on. Well, put your fan on first. Now, this little, this little wire we have in the back of the alternator. And when I pull this out, you'll hear the brushes click against the commutator. There you go. Give it a spin. And you just go ahead and tighten down this nut. And you're ready to go back on your car with it. There you go. Wasn't that much to it. Thanks for watching.